Welcome back. In this video, I am going to teach you how to make a new page button and link it to your new page. So I am on core words, as you can see, and I am going to come on over to word lists. Um, this again is uh, a bunch of categories that have uh, different words in them, actions, colors, all of that. Uh, I believe we went over that in one of the, the first video. So we are in word, the word list menu. Uh, we are going to swipe up. And if you can see here, I made a page button myself and linked it to a page for speech therapy. And what we are going to do now is go back what I would like to do is make an occupational therapy page or show you how to make an occupational therapy page button and link it to a page uh, for occupational therapy. And the reason why I chose this topic is because a lot of uh, uh, my kiddos that use this type of device, they not only do they go to speech therapy, but they also uh, do occupational therapy and some even physical therapy. So um, what we're going to do is swipe down. So we're going to make that button. So we're going to go into edit mode and we are going to go to page set. Then we are going to, so once you're in edit mode, you are going to click on Oh, I think I, let me go back. So you're on page set, sorry. You're in edit mode, then page set. Then you're gonna go over to um, hit the button. And we are going to label this occupational therapy. So we're gonna go into the label and we're going to type occupational therapy. So that's our label. And if you remember from my other videos, uh, the label and the message are sometimes the same. Sometimes they are not the same. And in this case, I'm going to show you how there's an option to, um, to have the message spoken out loud, or if you don't want the message spoken out loud and you just want to hit the page button to go to your page, silently, I guess you could say, then there's an option for that. I'm going to show you that too. So occupational therapy. So there are a bunch of pictures. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to pick uh, this one and hit done. So label picture are complete. We're going to put the message in and I'm gonna make it occupational therapy. So it's the same as the label. Okay, so I do not want this. Well, let me just show you. So there's your button. So if we leave it like this, it's going to say occupational therapy. But what I want to do is make it silent and have it connect to a page and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to go up to edit. I'm going to go back to touching the occupational therapy. And then if you look here, it says speak or insert message. I do not want it to speak. So I'm going to delete by hitting the red and then hitting delete. Okay. And then I'm also going to come over here to link to page. Hit that. And then I don't want it to link. I don't want this button to link to an existing page. I actually want to link it to a new page that I want to make and it's going to be my occupational therapy page. So I'm going to hit link to new page. We are going to name the page. Occupational therapy 
sorry, it wasn't right there. And we can just pick, I think, the same picture that we, well, maybe we can. Oh, yeah, this page, same page, same picture. I mean, picture, yeah. So create. Now I'm going to hit done. Oh, you can see here, it's now the page link is occupational therapy. So we're going to hit done. Now, you can see that it also now has an arrow, whereas before, before I had linked it, there was no arrow up here. It was just a button. So now that there's an arrow, it's telling me that when I hit it, it's going to go to a new page because we chose link to new page. Now I'm going to put some options in occupational therapy. So I'm going to go up to, uh, before I do that, you can see it's labeled occupational therapy and it has our picture there. So I'm going to hit edit. And then I'm going to put some buttons in here. So some of my kiddos like to uh, go on the trampoline in occupational therapy. So I'm hitting that button. I'm going to hit label. I'm going to write in trampoline. And just see which picture I want. Mm. I think I'll do that one. So there's trampoline. The message, I can just put trampoline. I think I'll just put trampoline. I'll show you something after that. So trampoline. All right, so we have our label, our picture, and our message, and we're going to hit done. So just to reiterate that again, we're going to make a new button. So hit edit, hit another um, button. And I'm going to put, let's just say puzzle because kids may also be doing a puzzle in occupational therapy. Again, this device can be used for adults too. I'm just referencing kids because the kids are, I work with kids. Um, so puzzle, I'm actually going to keep that. Again, you can choose. There are different ones, but I like this one. So then I'm going to hit done. Okay. Puzzle. Trampoline. So we're going to go back and Again, occupational therapy is the button for the page we just made. We're going to hit that, and there you go. There are two options. Of course, you can add more, but I just wanted to show you the two. I'm going to show you one last thing before we go. I'm going to go back to core words. I just want to show you how you can now, depending on where your child is at with a device, uh, how far they are, if they're further along, and they can make sentences and navigate pages, they could do something like this when they're in occupational therapy. I want. They're gonna come over to word lists. They're gonna swipe up and they're gonna go to occupational therapy. Puzzle. And hit puzzle. And then they can do the whole thing. I want puzzle. If they're more advanced, they could put the article A, I want a puzzle but that's just an example. And then if they are um, not able to create a sentence, then we might have a smaller grid size, but we could just present them. We could get them to the occupational therapy page ourselves and then have them choose and they could just choose trampoline. trampoline. So that is all that I'm going to show you on this video but tune in for more videos because I, I am making more this evening.